Anthony, when I like to think about the universe, one of the, what I thought was an easy question was, did the universe begin? Mm -hmm. Now I hear it's not such an easy question. No, help me. <laughs> <laughs> what I love about this question is that it's just gone by, back forever. You know, that this question has been here since the beginning of time, yeah. and we keep posing it with ever greater and greater refinement. So it, it's a neat thing. So it used to be just speculation. Well, the universe was finite in time. Oh, I know it went on forever. And Kant actually went so far as to make this philosophical argument that you could both prove that it was infinite in time and <laughs> finite. So just throw up your hands. But and then, then you had the steady state, which theoretically was infinite in, in, in time, and, and the Big Bang, which theoretically had a beginning. Precisely. So, it, so it, then it, it took this form of these two competing cosmologies. Right. And it was nice because we could have observational evidence that would tell us which of those was right. And it turned out that the Big Bang cosmology was right and the steady state was incorrect. But now the steady state has kind of made a comeback <laughs> through, through the back door. Um, and we're, we're now at this interesting place in cosmology where we can say that the universe is 13.7 billion years plus a number between zero and infinity old. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for yeah. your help. So, and, and, and the way that that worked is that we developed this Big Bang model, that the universe at an early time was hot and dense and expanding and so on. And that model has been in spectacular agreement with observation. So we really have a good handle on that and we can trace it back to this very dense early time. And so we have that model and it, if you take that model and extrapolate it back, if you just keep running the same laws of physics mm -hmm. backwards, you find that just a few minutes earlier, everything goes infinite. So, you know, density goes infinite, everything goes infinite. You've got this singularity and you say that the universe began, time began. So that was the conception of the Big Bang model. And in fact, people like Hawking and Penrose proved theorems that said under pretty general assumptions about how matter works, once you have a universe that was looking like the Big Bang early on, that there would necessarily be a beginning of time. So that's the kind of situation we had in the 60s and 70s, and we felt really good that the universe is 10 billion years, or give or take, old. That's what we thought then. Then, in the 80s and 90s, this new idea of inflation came in and said that actually in the very beginning of that Big Bang universe, there was this other phase where cosmology was quite different and the laws were quite different. And in particular, the assumptions that Hawking and Penrose used in those singularity theorems actually don't hold. They don't apply mm -hmm. to the matter that is driving inflation. So if this inflation process is going on, these singularity theorems are out the window. So then you have to ask, OK, what are the possibilities for how long inflation went on before inflation ended and regular Big Bang that we all know and love began? began? Yeah. And the answer is between, you know, some tiny fraction of a second and infinite amount of time. So, so, so we're back to the beginning. Yeah. I don't know. How do you get the infinite, possibly an infinite amount of time? The reason is that inflation, once it gets started, can essentially become like a steady state model. So inflation is something where the universe, in a given amount of time, doubles its size. Right. And then it doubles again and doubles again. And in it a very, very small p p part of a second. In a very tiny fraction yeah. of a second. So in one second, how many times would it double? I mean. In one second, it might be 10 to the 20 <laughs> yeah, times. Right, 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 right. That sort of behavior, that so-called exponential growth, has the property that it, it sort of always looks the same, just like the steady state model. If you say, how long did it take the universe to double in size? That's something you can observe. That's a number you can associate with the universe at any given time. That number is always the same during inflation. So in that sense, the universe just keeps doing the same thing. It's getting bigger, it's expanding, but its properties that you can observe locally are always look kind of the same. So in that sense, it's just like the steady state. And then the question is, how do you get out of that and into you know, the universe that we see? So you have to understand how whatever is making inflation happen, the physics behind inflation, how does that also allow inflation to end in some time and in some place and, and create what we might call the Big Bang, a bunch of hot radiation and matter and so on. So how do you get an infinity a, a, a amount of time mm -hmm. prior to the start of inflation? Right. So Wh Which makes it mimic a, a steady state universe and, and, and uh, blurs a beginning, right? Right. Suppose you take uh, some region of the universe and say, okay, I, I'm going to set it up so that it's going to do this inflation process. 
what you can show is that that inflation process in many versions, you know, many ways you can set up the conditions for it, will go on forever. It'll just keep going and going and going. Now, it may here and there stop inflating right. and create some little pocket right. or something. And that universe will have its own little big bang. Exactly. Whereas other places it would be, it would continue to, to uh, inflate. Exactly. Right. So the point is we don't know which where we are among that group. Right. So we, we might be in a later in, in, inflating universe. So at the beginning of our big bang, which is the end of our local inflation, is not the same thing as all these other inflations going all, all over the place. Precisely. Is that, is that why we don't know how we have a, where, where the beginning is, if there is one? So we, we know where the beginning of our it, local region right. is, where it got hot and then it turned into inflation back then. So that happened 13.7 right. million years ago. We've got a good handle on that. What we don't know is what's happening elsewhere and what happened before that. And so if, we, if this inflation goes on forever in the future, then you can reasonably ask, why did it have to start at all, right? If it, it, if it sort of becomes a steady state, why not just say it was a steady state? It's always been happening and it always will be happening. 